on this month's episode, we'll be cutter. Cool. Holy fuck. <laughs> covering. Covering. We'll be covering. <laughs> covering. Alright. Why do you need to practice that? Like, that's a tough word to say. Really? Uh, welcome to the O Calamity Book Club. I'm Bobby. Oh, I'm Heather. And on this month's episode, we'll be covering Stephen King's masterpiece, Pet Cemetery. It's from 1983. Another book that has a movie. You're gonna hold up the book or what? Oh fuck, sorry. We're keeping the trend alive! Ah, uh, yeah. That's three in a row if you're counting. Have you been keeping up? Like and subscribe and... Hit that bell notification. Don't miss a single episode of our weekly show and monthly podcast. It's important. What did you think of uh, the book? Did it live up to the hype? The almighty hype. Hell yeah. It was pretty great. Totally better than Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Still on the outs about that one. It was a it was a tougher read. What'd you think about that little boy getting hit by a truck? Shocker. I didn't even see that one coming. I knew somebody was gonna die, but him dying never even occurred to me. The book really took me by by uh oh. So Sir. So. Surprise? I caught I saw it coming all along. That little boy <coughs> from the movie. <coughs> Oh, <coughs> so cute! Oh, God, fuck. Bobby! Dude! Dude, you just can't do this to me right now! We're recording! And while I thought of a million totally reasonable ways to bury a body, I, I can't fucking deal with this right now! What do I do? We have deadlines to meet. I can't go back down there. Why do you eat that dang cookie? How am I supposed to do this book club alone? I'm unprepared for everything. Oh no. Hmm. Bobby must have left that there. Too busy listening to that sweet ass audio book. What's up? I'm here. Dude, what the fuck? Are you in the middle of something important? Well, it's not more important than this! Whoa, okay, okay. A hello would have been better to start this with. Tommy! Bobby's dead! A goner! We were in the middle of filming our podcast and he, he choked on the evening cookie and he really shouldn't have done that. Oh, no. I think I have an idea. Um, I'm just gonna need a little, a little help. Listen, I just really need your help burying the body. You in? God, no. But yeah, I'll be on my way. You should find something to put the body in. I'm on it. Catch you later. <sighs> Damn, dude. Looking rough. Well, let's just wrap you up then. Ugh. All right, he's gonna have to... Yo, I tried not it's to... It's about time you showed up. Holy shit, he is actually dead. Ah, I've already got Bobby wrapped and ready to go. Did you get directions to the pet cemetery like I asked? Yeah, I talked to that creepy old man down the street, but uh, are you sure any of this is actually going to work? The cemetery is not special in any sort of way. I'm positive that I don't have a better option than this. Like, even if it doesn't work like I wanted to, I'm really out of book club, member. At least it'll be buried in some random place far away from here. Yeah, that's true. At least he didn't bleed all over the place when he died. Yeah, thank the Lord indeed. Now help me get him to the car. Ugh. Why don't you get in the front or something? I'll just drag him from behind. All right, come on, let's go. Hurry up. All right, ready? On three. One, One two, two, three. Uh, oh. All right, now that he's all buckled up, we should keep going. We should have Taco Bell on the way. We don't have time for that. Yeah, but he's not getting any deader, and I can't bury a man on an empty stomach. Like but he is getting deader. That's that's what the rush is all about. But damn it, all right, I do love Taco Bell. Oh. It's on the way. We'll make it quick.
Dakota. Take a breath. I think the Taco Bell's still good. All right. Okay. Oh. Almost there. Ah. I don't see why we couldn't have eaten the Taco Bell first. Because we're on a mission, man. We can, we can have a victory dinner afterwards. I hear things get wonky after we wait a while. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting how important that is. All right, let's do this. Oh God. Dude, look at that sweet rock. Kern. <laughs> ah. Man, I wish I brought my paintbrushes. I hate when perfectly great rocks go unpainted. Yeah, ain't that just the saddest? Anyways, let's eat. <laughs> Always late. Any time now. We should be recording already. Sorry I'm late. Could have really used a ride. I had no idea when you'd pop back up. And fuck you, I brought you back to life. Like a magician. You did kind of nail it. That rock you picked was pretty sweet. I always pick the best rocks. I just walked for like five hours, choking to death on a cookie, being dragged around and buried. It's been a tough day. I'm dead. It's all your fault. What do you mean it's all my fault? Damn, dude, you, you smell foul. You need a shower. I'm pretty sure there's no amount of showers that could fix this problem. Oh, and you definitely brought those cookies over. I didn't make you choke on them, butt knocker. Don't call me a butt knocker, Heather. I'm serious. Is everything already set up? Oh shit, I almost forgot. You still have the SD card, butt knocker. Do I? I don't remember that. Oh my god, you suck! Get! It's right here. Well, I'll be damned. We're good. You ready to start? I got it, butt knocker! Let's get you some coffee, and we can get this book club meeting started. Butt knocker. Oh, gross. Even out here, I can still smell you. Just a little death. Your coffee tastes worse than I smell. My coffee's awesome, butt knocker. Why are you acting so weird? You always say it's awesome. Stop calling me butt knocker. Yo, we have a podcast record. So, you need to just calm down. Butt knocker. Butt knocker? I'll fucking kill you, goddammit! <laughs> did not go well at all. I just wanted my book club member bag. Oh well. The show must go on. Looks like I'm doing this all on my own. Well, welcome to the Oak Calamity Book Club. I'm Heather, and uh, well, that's it. I'll be discussing Stephen King's 1983 masterpiece, Pet Cemetery. All alone. Perfect. Okay. Nailed it. Yeah, that was great. We gotta do the high five. <laughs> You know if you oh god <laughs> no we've just done that before oh, yeah. but you know if you look at somebody's elbow while you high five you never miss never miss I know I did I tell you that is that why you know that no I feel like that's totally it that's when'd totally you learn been that for a life I learned that in elementary school what is it that you said.